CDNs can speed up your website, but also help you secure your servers. This is what we'll go through today, but don't forget to hit that subscribe and like. All right, let's get to it. CDN spreads your static assets across the internet. Static assets being JavaScript, CSS, HTML, and images. This helps with latency. Latency being how much time that it takes to go to your server and back. Latency for a website is often more important than the raw speed of your server. Servers are fast nowadays, but the bandwidth is limited by this idiot called Einstein who told us that this is how fast the speed of light can go. So. That means that we are just limited there. With your content spread across the world, that means that a client won't have to go to your origin server to get the content and can go to one that's much closer. Let's say that a client wants to connect to some of your content on a server in California, but they're in Dubai. That means that they will probably have a round trip of around 500 milliseconds just forward backward to get to that content and there's just no way you can reduce that now instead if you set up a bunny cdn for example or cloudflare they will have a server in dubai so that it will go maybe from 500 milliseconds to 30 milliseconds your requirements for using a cdn is that your data can be cached and that it's static now that doesn't matter so much if you have an mpa like a multi-page application or a spa you can use it both now, if you're using an MPA, you have to ensure that you're not caching things with cookies, like pages with cookies. The reason is that if you have a cookie, that means you might be locked in. And if you're locked in and you're caching the result from there, that might contain all the user information or the information of this person that is locked in. First, exposing user information and not giving the UX or UI that you actually want. CDNs can also help you secure your server. Kinda. When you have a CDN, you can set it up in front of your server. And when you do that, all the traffic goes through the CDN. This means that DDoS attacks and other stuff like that uh, will have to go through the CDN's servers first. And they have a very, very big amount of server infrastructure to deter the DDoS attack. But remember, there's no silver bullets in software or in life. Setting up a CDN in front of your server means that all of the data is going through that CDN. So far, there haven't been any major scandals about this, but the centralization of our internet is quite worrisome. It is a lot easier for a free letter agency to convince Cloudflare to give up 100,000 or million websites than it is to hack those million of websites. CDNs also offer other cool features such as streaming your videos, cut, compress, and minify your files, and even number three, doing some really cool AI stuff with your images. The opportunities are almost unlimited and it's very easy to set up. Are you using a CDN yet? Tell me in the description below. And if not, it's also fine. Let me hear your reasons why. I'll see you in the next one. What CDN? What are? What are? What are? Can I even spell English anymore? What the fuck?